Ten Days That Shook the World by John Reed. This is a Folio Society edition. It comes with a simple black slipcover and bound in this cloth. which is tactile. You can feel the, the bits. Here's what the spine looks like. And the illustration continues to the back. This book, uh, is a first-hand account by an outsider who was in Russia at the time of the Soviet Revolution. And this book goes in the <laughs> category of my to-be-read books. That is to say, I haven't read it. I haven't even started it. I have not dipped into it to read bits and pieces. I'm interested in it, but I haven't done that. So what I can do here is show you a bit about the book as an object, but I can't tell you very much about the book, uh, about the book's contents. So it's a, this sort of very clean white kind of paper and it's an interesting font here, very clear, clear, interesting font. And it has pictures, sort of, you know, photos from the time in sections throughout. Now, through a little bit of research about this book well, before I bought it, I know that um, that's actually John Reed right there. So he's the one who wrote the book. I know that he has been uh, criticized for being, well, a little breathless and excited and maybe biased towards the revolutionaries, um, that he was very much on the side of the revolutionaries, and that this is less uh, objective, clear-headed reporting, and more sort of excited kind of journaling. Now, again, I say that having not read the book. So I want to be very clear about that. This is not even my own opinion that I'm giving. Remembering, of course, at the time, you know, the we might think of the Soviet Union as an evil now, but at the time, the Tsar was a brutal dictatorship. And the uh, I, I think a lot of people were excited about that revolution. Okay, I can't get into it much more since I've never read it. This is a Folio Society edition of Ten Days That Shook the World by John Reed.